Just want to give a big shout out to all my members. I really, really appreciate that. If you want to join, hit that join button, man. I'm going to do some giveaways, start doing some stuff for the members, man, because I really do appreciate everybody. It really helps out the channel. And I love everybody like Step Cousins. Man, I hope you're having a wonderful day or night. And as always, be good to yourself. Man, hell freaking Transformers. Yeah. Are you looking for action figures? Then head over to The Chosen Prime. The link is in the description. Just follow that. And man, they got everything your heart desires. Transformers, 5-2 toys, Power Rangers, Turtles, Marvel, DC, statues, whatever you want. Just go over and follow that link, man. You can order everything you want. Just order. Just go over there and order. Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Hope everybody's having a wonderful day or night. And welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, let's do another What's New in Transformers. Yeah, love doing these. Don't have them in hand. Just like to chit-chat, talk about some new Transformers. So let's get right to it or sit back and relax. All right, all right, all right. And up first, as always, add-on kits, add-on kits, add-on kits for days. And it looks like Matrix Workshop gave us upgrade kits for uh, Legacy Core Class Dinobot Slag or Sludge and also uh, Legacy Leo Prime. So this is M85, uh, which is going to be the, you know, they got the weapons and the sword for uh, the little Dinobots. And that's awesome. And uh, then we also got the Legacy Leo Prime, which he gets the two guns and the little four little rocket launchers. Uh, so that's pretty cool. So there you go. M85, M86 upgrade kits for Dinobot Slag and Sludge and Legacy Leo Prime. All right. But we have Legends. Let's talk about some third party Legends. And it looks like we got some new boxes. And you know what that means? That means something's coming out soon. All right. New Age showed us their boxes for the uh, new Ratchet and the Shattered Glass from Jetfire. So yeah, I got the Jetfire already ordered and uh, I'm, going to, I'm waiting for the Ratchet to come in stock as well. So it looks pretty cool. So there you go. New Age Ratchet and New Age Shattered Glass uh, Jetfire or Skyfire is coming out soon. All right. I can't wait. All right. So the big news that came out this week for Legends, and man, it is big. We got H53 Michael from New Age. And my God, I know I talked about it earlier this week, but he is worth talking about again. I cannot wait for this guy. I think he's going to be definitely one of the top five uh, best Transformers this year. Uh, he's I mean, golly, I mean, look at that paint job. It looks spectacular. The articulation is great. He's got electronics. I mean, he's tall. I think he's going to be about 11 inches tall, give or take around that area. Man, he's, uh, you know, got die cast. Oh, it just looks so good. I can't wait for the recolors. They're going to be awesome, too, as well. Uh, now, price. A lot of people are asking what the price is going to be. Nobody knows yet. I have a pre-order at uh, Show Z, but I just got a deposit. Um, I can see this guy being about $200 over here, maybe $140 over there. Uh, 140 150 or give or take or like that area but man this thing looks spectacular i cannot wait get in my collection man but yeah this is h53 uh, this is michael from new age and this is their omega supreme golly also last week i showed new age uh, wildfire this is the shattered glass version of inferno which is pretty cool i love that green it looks so good we got some new pics of them i did show off this last week i only had one pick but now we got some new pics of that we also got the clear grapple in inferno as well oh my gosh look at them jolly ranchers they look so good can't wait can't wait to get all these in my collection so there you go this is uh, new age wildfire which is shattered glass inferno and we also got uh, clear uh, inferno and grapple as well all right, moving on to MP third party news. And um, I talked about this about a week or two ago. Uh, DX9 is re releasing their carry, which is their Rodimus Prime. He's you know heavily stylized, he transforms all in one. Uh, great, great bot, one of my favorite ones from DX9. And uh, they're doing a uh, looks like a metallic version. And it looks like a Chosen Prime has some new picks, but I'm still still not seeing that metallic paint on there. It kind of just looks like the regular one. So, but hopefully, uh, you know, that will change and you know, we'll see that and everything. But uh, we got some new picks from uh, like I said. Chosen Prime, and this is their DX9, and uh, re-releasing him under metallic paint. All right, gonna be shiny. And then up next, we got some color prototype picks of the Star Toys ST01. This is their Blitzwing. I uh, talked about this about a week or two as well, and um, I'm really, really looking forward to this. Now he looks really freaking awesome. Uh, finally can get a uh, proper Blitzwing. Uh, they, uh, DX9 did okay, but you know, some of the others were, I know Fans Toys was supposed to release one, but man, that's been uh, what, about five years from then. So, uh, but yeah, this is Star Toys. Uh, the rumor is this is uh, Transform Element. Uh, so uh, they put out some really good stuff and they're just going under a new name like they always, you know, most of the third party companies do. Uh, but like I said, this is Star Toys ST01. This is their Blitzwing and we got some color prototypes and yeah, I love all three modes. They look really good and I can't wait to get this in my collection. There you go, Blitzwing. 
And then we got some new picks for Van Tobby. This is MB-15A versus MB-17A. Uh, this is their Armada Megatron recolored into Galvatron. And then you got Power Links Optimus Prime recolored from, you know, Optimus Prime. Uh, really excited for this. I, I think I may get the Galvatron. I'm going to probably skip on the Power Links uh, Optimus Prime. Uh, but that Megatron mode is really good. And I love the color combo for Galvatron and everything. And it looks like they're fighting. You got some group shots and everything. You got some... Uh, uh, next to uh, Armada Megatron as well, so it looks pretty good. So there you go, Fan Toppy giving us some uh, MB-15A, MB-17A. Man, both look really good. <laughs> and then up next we have Light Toys, which I don't think they've released anything. They've shown a lot of things. They're, they had that huge Metroplex uh, that were supposed to be coming out. Um, but now they have this, uh, the Transformers G1 Animation Fat Baby. <laughs> I forgot the name of this guy. I know he was in one of the episodes. You can see him carrying uh, Nightbird. Uh, right there but i forgot which episode he was and i forgot the name of him uh when he was in the cartoon but they're calling him animation fat baby <laughs> so that's all right <laughs> i can kind of that's funny so there you go this is light toys and um are they ever going to release anything yeah, we'll see all right moving on to official news and it looks like uh, uh rise of the beast wheel jacks uh you, it looks like they took off the glasses it's like they snapped it or something they broke it so you can now see his face uh, you can see the eyes. He's got kind of like a sad, droopy face now. He's got some duck lips, uh, but the nice paint job. He got a lot of silver on there and everything. So uh, this one he looks like without the uh, glasses. Uh, fortunately, it looks like they it looks like they broke them. Uh, it looks. I thought they at first you could take them off, but uh, you cannot. It looks like they just snapped them in half or something. Uh, so yeah, I'm excited for this. You know, I'm, I'm excited for the movie. You know, I, I Will Jack, you know, I was making fun of him too. He's got the Telly Savalas kind of uh, glasses on, but um, I'm really excited for this. So there you go. There, that's what he looks like without his glasses. So if you want to snap that part off or something, you can. So there you go, Will Jack. It looks like Transformers Earthspark Wave 1 Warrior uh, scale is out in the UK. So you got Wave 1, it's got Optimus Prime, Alita 1, and Skywarp. They were found in Home Bargains in uh, Basing Stroke. Uh, so there you go. Happy hunting. And we got a possible first look at Studio Series Rise of the Beast Leader Scourge. All right. So although the pick isn't really good at all, it just, it's just mistransformed terribly. Uh, it still gives an idea of what to expect out of the figure. Uh, like I said, expect that, you know, just take this as a grain of salt. You know, it's just a rumor right now. But, it, you know, the head sculpt looks definitely like Scourge. And, uh, yeah, it kind of looks, I don't know if he's going to be a retool of something, but I think he's just a new mold. And uh looks decent so far like i said the pink is really blurry and uh, you can't see a lot and everything and like i said he's mistransformed really bad but there you go we got a possible first look at studio series rise of the beast leader scourge all right i can't wait to see this movie and it looks like the movie star screen was found in the u.s retail so this is a retro transformers movie uh that took the g1 and they recolored it to be uh you know 86 colors and everything uh so the walmart exclusive is a reissue of the classic g1 star screen mold features a new movie accurate deco and it comes packaged in a retro style clothes box uh, it was found in walmart in illinois and uh as you can see the images star screen comes in a solid case so that's pretty pretty sweet i'm definitely excited for this because i love some star screen it's my favorite character and i have it pre-ordered through uh, walmart.com so uh but if i do see it before that i'll definitely pick it up so there you go, uh, the, the Retro Transformers Movie Star Screen found at U.S. Retail. Happy hunting. And it looks like we got the product numbers of Transformers Retro G1 Hound reissue, the cartoon deco, and we got a new unknown reissue as well. So like I so said, we've already seen the images of the Hound, and now we can share official product numbers in the EN. So the product number is F69 Giggity 44, and then EAN is a 501-099-611-5225. And they're going to be four per case. And there's another one called Transgen uh, TRA Gen Retro 4. Uh, product number is F6945. Uh, don't know the name of this one yet. So we'll wait, you know, down the line, we'll see what's going to be that one. So pretty cool. So there you go. Product numbers of Retro G1 Hound and something else coming up down the pop line. And also found out the UK, Transformers Earthspark Wave 1, 1 Step Changers are out there in the UK as well. Also at the same store, uh, Home Bargains, and you get the One Step Changers, Optimus Prime, Bumblebeak, and Will Jack. So that's pretty cool. So happy hunting once again. All right, a possible first look at Rise of the Beast Cheetor. Like I said, I already talked about this earlier in the week, but we'll talk about it again because it's really cool. So showing off here is a cheat, you know, where only was in cheater mode, but they did show some updates. Uh, cheater appears to be another Kingdom Engineering rework. Uh, it's really heavy. If it is, uh, you know, a retool, it's heavily retooled off of the uh, Kingdom one uh, from Cheetor. Uh, much like the previous Air, Ra Air Razor figure, it's currently in question. However, uh, is it going to be mainline or is it going to be studio series? So we don't know for, uh, for sure which one it's going to be. 
I like I said, recommend it. Take it as a rumor. Take it as a grain of salt. Uh, but it looks pretty good. I, I like I said, I mentioned I love the head sculpt. Uh, this one looks good. I like the tail whip. You do got the gut gun as well. And so it looks pretty good. So I'm, I'm excited for this one. So there you go. Possible first look at Rise of the Beast Cheetor. And then we got our first look at Transformers Authentics Bravo Optimus Primal. Found in Taiwan retail, this is a completely new Optimus Primal mold in a scale similar to the Core Class toys. It's sculpted after his original Beast Wars cartoon design and includes two guns, which can be held in his hands or mounted on his shoulders, and he transforms into a gorilla. He comes packaged in a small box with a style and art similar to the Authentics Titan Changer Optimus Primal. Uh, and he can also, it seems to fit in Authentics Bravo scale, Bravo scale as well, so he's about four and a half inches. So there you go. Very cool. First uh, look at Transformers Authentics Bravo Optimus Primal. And we got some in hand images of Transformers Legacy Core Class Thundercracker. All right. For like, you know, last week we saw this, and now we got the, you know, confirmation that it is going to come out. So it's a new redeco of the original Kingdom Core Starscream. Now we have a nice set of images showing Thundercracker next to the Core Starscream and Skywarp. Uh, this one will come with the Null Race. That's awesome. In both modes and comparison shots next to other Core Class toys as well. So very nice. So yeah, there you go. In hand, in -hand images of Transformers Legacy Core Class Thundercracker. And we got our first look at Legacy Evolution Deluxe Crosscut. You know, who didn't see this coming? Uh, as many expected, Crosscut is indeed a reissue of the Skids Burnout mold painted in his OG silver and red color scheme. He shows off here his bot and vehicle modes along with his look at his accessories. Um, you know, that's pretty cool. I mean, I like the mold. It's okay. It's probably not the best mold that uh, Legacy has come out with. A lot of waffles. You know, they're going to make some uh, fillers for him. Uh, but yeah, everybody knew Crosscut was coming. So there you go. Legacy Evolution Deluxe Crosscut. Deluxe Crosscut First Look. All right. And we got our first look at Transformers Authentics Alpha Starscream. This, first, uh, this figure comes packaged in a box that looks pretty similar to the Authentix Titan Changer Starscream, but this mold features several differences like the Null Rays, legs, and deco, plus it was made for a 7-inch Alpha scale. Uh, so there you go. Yeah, pretty cool. I'll definitely have to get this if I see it because it is Starscream. So there you go. First look at Transformers Authentics Alpha Starscream. Well, all right, folks, that's all I have this week for news, and not a whole lot, but uh, we got some good stuff, man. That Omega Supreme for New Age looks spectacular. I like that Rise of the Beast Cheetor. Uh, we got first looks at a lot of stuff, so yeah, I'm excited. It's it's great to be a Transformer collector right now. My goodness, especially a Legends collector. All right, well, hit me up some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go ahead and hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. Hit me up some comments. Love reading your comments. And I guess I'll see you on the next uh, What's New in Transformers. And as always, be good to yourself. Man, hail some freaking transformers. And good night, folks.